Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mario Marroquin. I'll be your nurse uh, today uh, doing an examination on you. For safety, um, could I please have your initials, please? Uh, FS. Okay, and your date of birth? 1-1872. Okay, thank you, sir. Pleasure to meet you again. My name is Mario. I'll be washing my hands for your safety, but I ask you a few questions, okay? Okay, here we go. Um, first of all, um, so what brings you in to here with us today? Oh, just a regular checkup. Okay, really good. Um, and I, could you give me any history um, on your abdomen as far as any um, illnesses, surgeries that you might have had? Um, I did have a surgery to my umbilicus back in 2007 for a hernia, and I had an open heart surgery on here that I have a scar here. Okay, really good. Okay, so we'll be doing a physical examination on you today. So what I'm going to be doing um, is I'm going to be asking you to lay back. I'll be placing a pillow under your head and one under your knees to relieve your uh, the muscles. Okay, fingers under. There you go. Thank you. Uh, and I'll be putting my gloves on. Okay. Um, as far as your history goes, can do you have any pain at this time? Uh, no pain. Okay. Um, and how about um, your bowel movements, sir? The regularity, consistency of your bowel movements? Uh, I have a little bit of constipation once in a while. Okay. Is this something new, ongoing? How long have you um, been experiencing this? Started about three months ago. About three months ago. Okay. Alrighty. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off with your inspection. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be lifting up your gown so I can take a look. Uh, at your abdomen. Is this okay, sir? Yes. Sir. Okay, thank you. Here we go. Right up to your... Really good. So what I'm, one of the things I'm looking for during my inspection, sir, is going to be um, the overall general structure. Um, uh, the curvature, it, you know, um, is uh, round. Um, I'm looking for any kind of abnormalities, lesions. I do see you do have a, a supra um, umbilical scar. Um, you do have, um, which coincides with the umbilical, uh, the hernia surgery, I believe you said you had yes. that correct? Okay. Um, I do appreciate a center uh, midline incision scar that does come down into your epigastric region. This is from the um, open heart surgery that you had, right? Yes. Okay. You also have two small scars right on, on both sides of the midline. Um, were, were these also part of the surgery you had here, sir? It's from the drainage tubes. Okay, really good. You do have some discoloration um, under your pectoral muscles bilaterally. Um, there are a few scattered moles. They're not raised. Um, you do have a normal distribution of hair to your abdomen that coincides with your gender and your age. Um, no lesions noted. Um, it, your abdomen is symmetrical. Um, while I am inspecting your abdomen, I'm noticing that uh, you have the uh, normal characteristic diaphragmatic respirations, um, appro uh, 16, approximately 16 per minute um, while you're breathing. Um, it is symmetrical, which is good. Okay, really good, sir. Alrighty. So now, um, what I'll be doing now is moving on to auscultation. I'll be listening. Um, to the different areas. I'll be explaining this as I go over um, your abdomen, okay? okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll be cleaning my, my stethoscope, disinfecting it, okay? And I'll be warming it up as well. I'll be using both sides of my stethoscope today, which is the diaphragm and the bell for different uh, areas in your abdomen. I'll be explaining those as we go, okay? Okay. So here we go. Warm up the Let's go a little bit here. Okay. Okay. Um, and the first thing I'll be doing is I will be auscultating um, your right upper quadrant. And I'll be auscultating for one full minute. Okay. After the, the minute has lapsed, then I'll move over to your left upper quadrant. And I will now move down to your right lower quadrant. Okay. After the minute has lapsed, I will move down to your left lower quadrant. Okay. Good. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be changing from the diaphragm to the bell and listening for different um, uh, sounds. What I'm looking for is to appreciate any um, brewies or um, friction rubs that I might um, appreciate. So first thing to do is I'm going to start um, over your aortic region. Move over to uh, your right renal. Now to your left renal. Okay. Your right iliac. Left iliac. Uh, and I'm looking for, for any uh, sounds of your breweries. I'm going to be going now to your right upper quadrant. And I'm, what I'm listening for is any hepatic um, friction rubs, which I appreciate none. And I'll be going over your left upper quadrant. Um, and I, again, do not appreciate any high-pitched uh, friction rubs over your splenic region. Okay really good. Um, I was appreciating your bowel sounds. Uh, they're approximately um, eight um, per minute, which uh, it, which is normal um, over that region. So, um, so far, um, everything um, uh, sounded very, very well. Okay. So now what I'll be doing now is moving on to uh, the percussion. Okay, it's always auscultation before we start percussing. So before I even start, I just want to reiterate and ask again to make sure that you do not uh, ask if you have any pain over your abdominal area at all. How about when I was listening? No pain. No pain. Very good, very good. So I'm going to start um, over the percussion. Percussion, basically, um, I will be thumping over different parts of your abdomen uh, using my finger as an anvil and my, and my other one as a hammer over the sides um, going from... Um, right to left okay as been any time i do elicit any pain uh please feel free to let me know okay okay um and here we go so right here in the right upper quadrant okay so right on the right upper quadrant i moved in from the right over to the left. What I did notice is um, the basic sound is tympanic sounds. As I went to the top part of uh, right under your ribs, I did hear some dullness, which coincides with the border of your liver, which also goes over into the left upper quadrant, which is perfectly normal. Um, again, um, everything else was tympanic, okay? Um, so now I'll be going to your uh, right lower quadrant. Okay, and now your left lower quadrant. Really good. So basic sounds that I hear were, were timpani, which uh, coincides um, with the different structures of your abdomen that I was appreciating. Again, um, on the um, right upper quadrant is where you have the uh, your part, bottom part of your liver. On the right hand side, stomach, spleen, and also part of the liver as well. Um, on the right hand side, um, this would be where your ascending colon is. Um, on the right hand side would be mostly where your uh, small intestine and your uh, descending um, uh, colon is, okay? Everything um, sounded nice and tympanic as we went there, okay? Um, so now what we'll be doing is um, going over to our palpation, okay? And again, I, I just wanna reiterate and make sure that we're um, good. Um, any pain that was elicited during percussion? No pain. Okay, really good. So I'm gonna start off um, on palpation with light um, palpation throughout your abdomen. Uh, going over the different regions, and I'll be um, identifying the different structures under those areas as we go, okay? So we're going to start off right now um, on your um, on your um, right upper quadrant, okay? Or your right hypochondriac area, okay? And right now, it's just light palpation, okay? So right hypochondriac area, this is the, be the bottom part uh, of your liver, okay? And going over to the epigastric area. Okay, and now over your left uh, hypochondriac area. Okay, now I'm going to your right lumbar region. Okay, your umbilical region. 
okay left lumbar region right iliac okay um, your left iliac and the in the um, infra umbilical region okay any pain or palpation throughout these areas as I palpated no pain okay really good um, what I'll be doing now is a bit more deep palpation, okay? Um, as I palpate the different region, I'm, I'll be asking you to take breaths and even to hold them at certain times. Um, and uh, I'll explain this as we go along, okay? okay. So we start here at the right um, upper quadrant, okay? A little bit of, okay? All right, we do me a fair, we take a deep breath, sir. Okay, let it out. Any pain, sir? No pain. Okay, so right here on the right-hand side, this would, this coincides with the um, the area of your gallbladder, um, and this would be for this right here would be your uh, uh, I'm sorry, your uh, Murphy's point, um, and what we're checking for is the gallbladder. Okay, um, there was no pain inhalation, in, uh, inhalation, so that's really really good. Okay, so we'll move over to your right side, deep palpation. Okay, any pain? No pain. Okay, this coincides with your your splenic region or your spleen on this side, okay? So now we'll go over to your right lower quadrant, okay? So here, okay. Any pain? No pain. Okay, what I'm gonna be doing is releasing my hand really quick to see if there's any pain, okay? Was there any pain as I pressed or I released? No pain. Okay, really good. So um, this, uh, this is all. This is the Mc, uh, McBurney's test, um, and it was uh, negative. Um, and um, as we released um, the my hand, it was also negative. It, there was an illicit pain. Um, this is all the the Bloomberg test. Okay. okay. Um, so we'll move over to the left lower quadrant. Okay. Any pain? No pain. Okay, so this also is a negative rebound um, test as well that coincides with a with the um, uh, any appendix uh, those any appendix issues would elicit any pain. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be um, palpating your kidneys. Okay, so I'm going to put one hand under your flank right here, really good. Go on top, take a deep breath, sir. Okay, let it go. Hold your breath for me, sir. Okay, really good. I'll be doing the same on the other side. Okay. Really good. Okay. Take a deep breath, sir. Okay. Breathe in. Okay. Really good. Okay. Really good, sir. Any did this elicit any pain or discomfort no when, pain. when we did this? Okay. No, sir. Really good. Okay, sir. Um, one of the last things that I'm going to be asking to do is to be having. I'm going to have you have a seat right now, and I will be um, palpating the um, on your costal vertebral angle with uh, my hand against your back, and I'll be giving a, a thump to see if I can elicit any pain. Okay. So if I can help you, sir, yes. sit at the edge of your bed. Thank you. Really good. And also, what I did right now when I asked you to um, grab my help you up, I looked when you um, try to sit up, and what this does is it flexes your abdominal muscles. And I can appreciate if you had any bulging uh, from your abdomen, which you did not at the time. Okay. So that's really good. And was, we use this to check for hernias and such. Okay. okay? So here we go. So, okay. When your right costal vertebral angle. Any pain, sir? No, sir. Okay. I'll be going over the other side to do the same thing. Okay. Any pain? No pain. Okay. Very good. Sir, do you have any questions for me today before we conclude our exam? No, sir. Okay. Well, sir, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, and just a little bit of teaching uh, before we go. Um, I know that we had been talking about the last three months um, some constipation. So we do need um, to re we'll give, we give you a referral to a dietitian. And the whole purpose is, is to increase um, your dietary fiber intake to um, hopefully improve uh, peristalsis of your intestines and getting the bowel movements more regular, okay? okay? Do you have any questions for me at this time? No, sir. Right, thank you so much, sir. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.